So hello everyone, welcome to Tesla Technologies Private Limited. My name is Saurabh Mishra and today in this video we are going to talk about this conveyor control by PLC. So its order code is 52025. So in this video we are going to talk about its working, its components and its application. So let's start with the discussion of the components of this conveyor control by PLC. So this conveyor control kit is being controlled by this PLC. So let's start with the components of PLC first. So you can see this is the power off switch, power on and off switch provided. Then this is the eight inputs provided for feeding the inputs into this kit. Then these are six indicator lights for the output. After this, this is the relay across which there is a 5 volt relay and a ground port. This is the relay control. After that, you can see 5 ports with plus 24 volt, ground plus 5 volt and 2 switches for making it short with the ground and 5 volt. After that, you can see this is the conveyor controller. In this, this is the conveyor belt. After that, this is the photoelectric switch and this is the inductive proximity sensor. A motor has been fitted at the back side for the conveyor belt. Moving on, this is the 5 volt port provided. This is the ground port and this is the plus 24 volt port provided. After this, the two switches for the biasing, the reverse and the forward is being provided. Then two switches for on and off and auto and manual mode. After that you can see there are 6 input ports and 6 output ports. So we have to connect this PLC with this conveyor control and connect it with the software. So let's move ahead. So now let's start with the connection of the conveyor control with this PLC kit. Starting with these three ports of 24 volt, ground and 5 volt with all these three ports. Just start the connection. Connect 24 volt with the 24 volt. Then connect the ground with the ground. Then connect the 5 volt with the 5 volt. After this, you have to connect three inputs with these three inputs, any of them. So let's suppose we are taking the input 0, 1 and 2. So connect 0 with the 0. Connect input 1 with the input 1. Then connect input 2 with input 2. Now, after completing with the three inputs, now let's take three outputs for them. Suppose this port is connected to this port, this port is connected to this port, and at last, this port will be connected to this port. So this is all the connection. For this, now we have to connect the M port and short it with the ground port and L port, we have to short it with the 5 volts. So this is all the connection. Now let's connect it with the Ethernet cable. So here we are going to do for the software part of this conveyor control. So first of all, you have to search for the software. Just go into the panel bar and here in this you will get a later program. This one will be the ladder diagram of this conveyor belt. You can check 
and this is the software for the conveyor Let's switch it on and you will get a feed it later diagrams you can enter your own commands since we have connected it to the kit so the data will be transferred to the kit now you just have to run this kit click on yes you have to check out the IP addresses it should match and then click on ok you can see connected is being shown at the bottom and run is in the position so now we just have to click on the download just click on download and these all options will be sent back to the PLC for the run just click on download and then click on yes if you want to uh, make it stop you have to uh, do click on yes if you don't then it's in the on position so now let's check the software on the kit so this is the conveyor belt I have already done all the connections connect it with the ethernet cable to your CPU system of your computer also you have to connect it with the main supply switch on the power and whatever I have feed it to the software you must follow that and after this you can see these are having two modes on and off right now it's in on position and it's in manual position you can just run it manually forward and reverse also you can run it auto you can see uh, red light indication the conveyor belt got started now what we have to do is simply put these blocks over here these are some plastic blocks it will, this is a photoelectric sensor it will send the count of the block passing through the conveyor belt and later on this is the proximity electric sensor it will send the metal object or the defective object and the conveyor belt will get stopped so first of all I am putting the plastic box it will send the count and let the plastic box go away again a plastic box I will put this metal block and see it will stand and stop you can see a green light and a buzzer sound the metal block has been stopped on the conveyor belt means the defective part would be remain aside and this is how we are going to run this conveyor belt and as soon as we remove this metal block and again I am putting the plastic block over this as well for the electric sense and again the inductable get passed through it again our uh, plastic these are our input and must ensure that all the inputs should be off so to get the results on this conveyor belt or else for checking we can switch off all the inputs but you will get the results on this PLC cleaner rather than the conveyor belt a video for this kit 52014 the programmable logic controller is already seen on our YouTube channel you can go there let's see one more time the metal block ok you have to keep it in close contact so that it can send and the conveyor belt will get stopped you can hear the buzzer sound this is how the program and the conveyor belt works so this is the complete demonstration of this conveyor control from my side if you have any query related to this product you can visit at tesca global website and for the other information related to this product you can refer to the manual information related to other products is mentioned in the link given in the description so thank you for watching this video if you like this video just like share and subscribe to our channel